Hi everyone, this is Dr. Gurbuz. Welcome to my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to conduct reliability analysis, namely Chrome Alpha, using SPSS. If you use a scale in your own study, you should first report its reliability value. Chrome Alpha is the most common measure of scale reliability in social sciences. It's a measure of internal consistency, that is how closely related a set of items are as a scale. It's a function of the number of test items and the average intercorrelation among the items. So an alpha of 0.70 or higher is considered acceptable in most research. As the number of items on the scale increases, Chromba Alpha will also increase. In order to conduct this analysis, you will need at least three parallel items. Also, it is important to note that before conducting reliability analysis, first of all, you should recode your reverse items. Okay? In order to calculate Chrome Alpha, SPSS use this formula. Let's go to the SPSS and see how can we conduct this analysis. Okay, so this is my scale. The scale we call it attitudes toward sustainable energy and it's, it consists of seven parallel items. We have seven items. So for the Chrome Alpha reliability, first of all, we need to go to analyze, then scale, reliability analysis. Then I should select all my scale items. Okay. And then I should move them to the right window, which is item window. Okay. Then I shall go to statistics and select the scale if item deleted. Okay, this one. Hit the continue and hit the OK. And SPSS will bring the results for us. So, in order to make it easy, for us, I will copy all my results to the PowerPoint. Okay, let's go to the PowerPoint. Okay, so this is my results. This is the first table. Okay, so in this table, you will see the Chrome Alpha overall reliability here. Okay, so it shows the overall reliability of the scale. Okay, so my scale consists of seven items and its reliability in terms of Chrome Alpha, which is 0. Point, okay, almost 71, okay, which is good. Remember that my threshold or cutoff point for the Chrome Alpha at least should be 0. 0.70. So in this case, I have an acceptable Chrome Alpha reliability for my scale, which shows my scale is reliable okay so we have a second table as well in this table we should look at the this column corrected item total correlation okay actually if any of these values are less than 0 0.3 then we have a problem first of all we should handle this problem okay any value or any items with low total correlation should be deleted okay it should be deleted so my cutoff point for the item total correlation at least should be 0 0.3 in this case as you see all of the my items have a total correct item correlation higher than 0 0.3 so i don't have any problem now okay and the last column we call it Chromebach Alpha if item deleted. Actually, it shows when you delete any of item 
what will be your overall reliability of the scale. For example, it says that if you delete the item A7, this one, then your overall chrome alpha will increase to 0.72. Sometimes you will need this kind of information if you have a lower chrome alpha value, but in this case we don't have a lower chrome alpha that is good for us. Okay. So also we have some you know uh, cutoff points for the chrome alpha. If your chrome alpha is between 1 and 0.9, it means that you have an excellent you know scale in terms of internal consistency. If your alpha is between 0.9 and 0.8, your reliability is good. If it is, you know, between 0.8 and 0.7, it is still acceptable. But if your Chrome alpha level is below the 0.7, then your reliability is questionable or sometimes it's poor or it is unacceptable. So, so how can we report? these chrome alpha results in APA style. It is easy. The alpha coefficient for attitude towards sustainable energy is 71, 0.71, revealing that the scale has an acceptable internal consistency. Okay. So in real research also, generally we report the chrome alpha under the head of measure section. For example, this is an example from my own research. As you can see, I just write the results of chrome alpha in here. The chrome alpha estimates of the overall scale was 0.85 and then I explained other subscales of my items. Okay, so this is how we can report in real research. So let's go to the spaces again and see if we have a very poor scale, what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's say this is my second example. Okay, and in this case, I have six items, six parallel items, okay, which are intent to measure organizational commitment. Okay, so let's go to the analyze, okay, scale, level channel says, then select the all six items and move them to the right panel and just collect the scale if item deleted and collect the continue with the OK and you will get the results from the SPSS. Okay, so this is your results. So as you can see in this case we have a lower chrome alpha value lower than 0.70. Okay, then I should look at the corrected item total correlation column. Okay, so as you can see the last item which is commitment 6 okay has a lower corrected item total correlation which is clearly lower than 0.3 very low so if i delete this item from the analysis and I'm, and then i repeat the analysis then i will get the chrome alpha overall alpha about 0.74 almost okay so let's go to the analyze menu again okay so scale Reliable analysis, then I will delete the last item commitment 6 from my analysis. Just I will move it to the back, then I will hit OK again. Okay, as you see, my Chrome Alpha item will be increased to 0 0.74 almost. Okay, so this is how can we conduct Chrome Alpha reliability using SPSS. Thank you for your pay attention. See you on the next video.